Hello, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Brother Hosanna David. I promised yesterday when I did a video, a live video on my YouTube channel, Hosanna David, which is uh, one of the daily teachings that I've been doing. I promised that I will talk about maintaining God's presence, but I feel I should talk about God's presence first before I talk about maintaining God's presence. God created us so that we can be his temple, his house, where he lives through his spirit. And in one of the teachings, I said that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and that God created us to be his house. He created us for himself. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, he breathed into the nostril of man, the breath of life, and man became a living soul. He lives right inside of us through his spirit. It is sin, disobedience, that drove God away. But Jesus Christ has died and has reconciled us back to God. So we today are operating under a new covenant under a new testament when we say this bible is made up of two parts the old and new testament testament means a testament means a covenant so we are saying this is the old and new covenant we are operating in the new covenant and in the new covenant the spirit of god lives inside of us more than how it used to be in the old covenant um, after the fall of men. And even now, we have a better covenant. So we have this great advantage of having the presence of God around us. Psalm 34 verse 7, the Bible says, The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him, and delivered them. The angel of the Lord encamped around them that fear him, those who fear God. The angels of the Lord encamp around them, and he delivered them uh, from evil, from every arrow of darkness. The presence of God appears in different forms. Number one, we have the Spirit of God living inside of us. That is the presence of God. And then, angelic presence too every child of god supposed to have an angel the moment we give our lives to christ we are born again we have angels attached to us at least one angel is attached to us for those of us who have assignments in this world there are more than one angel it depends on your relevance uh, in the spirit world it depends on your assignment it depends on your relationship with God. There are different factors that actually determine the number of angels that you're supposed to have. Here we are told in Psalm 34 verse 7 that the angel of the Lord encampment around those who fear God. And what does he do? He delivers them from all their troubles. Um, then there is another way the Spirit of God uh, the presence of God abides with us. I said uh, the Holy Spirit living, living inside of us and also the angelic presence, angels of God attached to us. Then also the visitation. God could come down as uh, it, he, he did in the time of Moses. He could come down um, in different forms, in form of fire, in form of light, in form of cloud, uh, he could come in form of um, radiating light. We could have that level of visitation from God. It may be physical, it may be um, not, it could be spiritual, but whichever way he comes, he could be felt. We also see in Acts of Apostles chapter 2, when the disciples received 
the Holy Ghost. On the day of Pentecost, he came down in form of fire, tongues of fire. So the presence of God is very, very important. We shouldn't forget that we are living in a world of darkness where Satan and his courts, his fallen angels, demons dwell. So we can actually do nothing without the presence of God. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 15, verses 4 and 5, he said, Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abideth in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. In verse 5, it is very, very clear. He said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Without him we can do absolutely nothing. Why? Because the, the forces in this world will not never allow us to succeed except we abide in Christ. It, the earth is not without a, a, an opposing spiritual force. It is not an empty earth where you just come in and you assert your effort and then get results. No. There are, even though you do everything you're supposed to do as a human being, if you are not attached to Christ, you may not succeed. Because there are evil forces in this world. That is why a lot of people have covenants with the devil so that they can be at peace at the expense of their soul, at the expense of their salvation, of the salvation of their soul. So it is very, very important that we bring down the presence of Christ into our lives. Every believer is supposed to carry the presence of Christ. Wherever we go, we are the temple of God. The Spirit of God lives in us. The Spirit of God dwells in us. And we are supposed to maintain this presence of God in our lives. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So we are supposed to dwell. Dwell. That means it, the Secret place of the Most High is supposed to be our abode. It's supposed to be our address. It's supposed to be the very place we live, our habitat, our dwelling place. Not just not visiting and going out and we just rush in and rush out. No. The, what we call the church is not actually the building. The cathedrals, the chapels, the uh, buildings, the meeting halls... These are just church buildings, but it is not the real place that God dwells. I remember some time ago, I had a dream, and in the dream, I was in the altar. I was serving in the altar. Uh, it was the altar of an Anglican church. Uh, not everybody is allowed to enter there except those who minister in, on the altar. So I was serving a service was ongoing and i was serving on, on the altar then the thought of woman entered my mind in that on that altar and i was saying why should i be thinking about a woman on the altar of god uh, i don't think this place is holy i mean i think this place is holy and i i shouldn't be thinking about a woman in this place then Right away, the Spirit of God spoke to me right there in the dream on the altar and said, Don't you know that your body is holier than this altar? That uh, I can't actually quote what the Spirit of God told me, but what he said was that my body is more important than the physical altar. I'm worrying about the altar, the physical altar while I am not even bothered about my body, that my body is more important, that I should, shouldn't have allowed it into my heart at all, because it's not about just being on the altar that is a physical holy place, but there is a more important altar, which is my body, the temple of the Holy Ghost. If we have this understanding, it will do us a lot of good. 
A lot of people today do not maintain the body which is the temple of the Lord. So if you are if you are engaging in things that can tamper with the presence of God in your life and you are asking God to come into your life or to increase his presence in you, I think that prayer is useless. What you should have done is cleanse the body, cleanse your heart, resist the devil, and when the house is clean, God will come in. The Spirit of God will come in. Look at what Jesus Christ said. He said, when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, the spirit goes through dry places. And if it finds no comfortable place to dwell, it will say, let me go back to my house. And this is what I want to point out. When it comes back and finds out that the place is swept clean. Swept clean. So, even demons have conditions when they want to live in a body swept clean means that the spirit of god is not there there is no holiness so it is conducive for them to live in that is how it is too when our body is cleansed when our body is sanctified when we remove sin out of our lives the Spirit of God dwells inside of us. Uh, I want you to read Deuteronomy chapter 23, verses uh, 12 to 14. You will see what the Bible, uh, the, the command of the Lord to Moses, to the Israelites, about his abiding presence. And we are going to talk about it in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I want to tell you this. I have been doing... Uh, daily teachings almost every day on my other YouTube channel, Hosanna E.E. E. David. Uh, I want you to subscribe and follow. Um, I've not been regular on Eagle Eye Opener for some reasons. Uh, please also follow me. Uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Visit my website, HosannaDavid.com. In case you... I've not given your life to Christ. Please do well to give your life to Christ. If you need assistance on the way to get back to Christ, you can message me or reach me on my WhatsApp or signal number on uh, which is on, in the description box. My email is also there too. I'm ready to assist you get your way back to God. Thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to share this video. Bye-bye.